and this is Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this sweater. It's very easy. Now let me tell you, there's a few different parts to it that you have to sew together. Make sure you sew them securely, securely if you use um, this type of yarn that I have used, which I will tell you in a minute what it was. And uh, yeah, so here it is. You saw it in the pictures at the beginning. So let's get started. Now for this tutorial, I used Red Heart Unforgettable. This is a 100 gram ball. 270 yards. It's a medium four weight. Recommended needle is a five. Recommended hook is a six millimeter. It's machine wash and dry. I used a five millimeter. It's 100% acrylic. This colorway is called Dragonfly. And I used close to six balls. This was the sixth one, and this is what's left of it. So there's 270 yards in each ball. And I used, I don't know, five and a half. Um, and I'm a size medium. You just make it to the size that you desire. So the first thing we're going to do is put a slip knot. And then we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to put a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to put a double crochet in the next chain. And then a double crochet in the next chain. This is row one. And then we're going to chain six. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And then a double crochet in the next chain. And then a double crochet in the next chain. Now we're going to turn this part around like that. And this chain three we did here, we're going to put a slip stitch in there. Like that. And then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to put three double crochets into that chain three space. That's one, two, three. All right, so now we're done our second row. Our first row is this one. Our second row is these two blocks here. Make sure that your tail is right at the bottom. And then we're going to chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. And then we're going to make two, one double crochet in the next one. And then one double crochet in the next one. Now 
And then with your first piece like this, we're going to slip stitch into that chain three space right here. And then we're going to make three, um, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. We're going to make three double crochets in that chain three space. And then we're going to slip stitch into this chain three space and then chain three and then make three double crochets in that same chain three space. And this is how it will look. That was our first row, this is our second row, and these three are our third row. So now we wanna start in the next row, so we chain six. A double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet in the next chain, and a double crochet in the next chain. Now we're going to turn our work, we're going to put slip stitch into that chain three there, and then we're going to chain three. And then we're going to put three double crochets into that uh, chain three space. Then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next chain three space. Chain three. Make three double crochets in that chain three space. One, two, three. In this next chain three space, we're going to make a slip stitch, chain three, make three double crochets in that space. So now that's row four that we've completed. So now I'm going to show you how to decrease. So here we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work and then we're going to slip stitch into the top of our double crochets that we did. So slip stitch there, slip stitch into the next one. And then we're going to slip stitch into our chain three. And then we're going to chain three. And we're going to make three double crochets in that space. And we're going to go to the next chain three space, make a slip stitch chain three, three double crochets in that chain three, go in the next chain three, put a slip stitch, chain three, Three double crochets in the chain three space. Go in the next chain three space, make a slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets in that same space.
Now what we have here is we have a straight edge here and a straight edge on here and this is also got a straight edge there. So each time you do a decrease it's going to move your material in a straight line. So you're no longer extending out this way, you're just going in a straight line. And this one I'll show you a, um, a decrease, I mean an increase, which is what we were doing in the very beginning. So your increase, remember, is chain six. Three, four, five, and six. And then a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Double crochet in the next chain. I mean, yes, double crochet in the next chain. And then a double crochet in the last chain there. Okay, see how you're... You're still extending upward. And here you're just going to end up doing a straight um, line. So let's just continue on. We're going to turn our work. We're going to put a slip stitch in our chain three. We're going to chain three make three double crochets in the chain three go in the next chain three put a slip stitch chain three do three double crochets in that chain three space it's one two Slip stitch into the next chain three, and then chain three. Make three double crochets in that chain three space. Now we're getting to our straight edge again, so we're going to make a slip stitch in that chain three right here. And we're going to chain one. And then we're going to turn our work, and this is where we do our slip um, stitches across. So put one in that first double crochet at the top. Put a slip stitch in the next double crochet at the top and put a slip stitch into your chain three. And this is how you're gonna start making this edge straight up. So this is gonna be a rectangular corner to corner when you do it like this. So let's continue on and finish off this um, Um, part of it. Okay, chain three. Three double crochets in that chain three space. Okay, and then you go into the next chain three space, do a slip stitch. Chain three, three double crochets in that chain three space. Go into the next chain three space, put a, a slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets in that chain three space. And then go into the top of our chain three space here, do 
a slip stitch. Chain three. Put three double crochets in there. Okay. I'm going to start decreasing on this edge as well. And it's going to start going like this up here and it's going to close it off. So let's do that. Normally, if we're still extending our um, blocks, we would do a chain six, but we're going to do a chain one and we're going to slip stitch across till we get to that chain three space again, slip stitch into it and chain three. Three double crochets in there. Okay, go to your next block, slip stitch in the chain three, in the chain three, make your three double crochets in there. On the next block, slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets. And then we're at your the edge. Right here, we're at the edge. Put your slip stitch in there, chain one, and then turn, slip stitch, uh, excuse me, slip stitch through your top of your double crochets there to get to your chain three space, slip stitch in it, chain three. Three double crochets in that chain three space. Go to your next block, put a slip stitch in there, chain three, put three double crochets in there. One, two, and three. Now you go up to your top one here, your uh, chain three space, put a slip stitch, chain one, turn your work, slip stitch across, chain three, Make three double crochets in that chain three space. Slip stitch into your um, chain three space there. Chain one. And then we're gonna slip stitch across this one. Not sure if you can hear my cat eating crunchies. <laughs> and there we have it. We have a corner to corner that's turned into a rectangle. So let's count our blocks and make sure they match up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven along that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven along that side. So we know there's an even amount. We have one, two, three, four on that side, one, two, three, four on that side. So it's all equal. 
So that is a rectangular corner to corner. Now here are the pieces. You're going to have four pieces all together. You're gonna have the part that wraps around your body, your torso. You're gonna have the part that is going to get attached at the top here. This goes around um, your arms. And then you're gonna have your sleeves. Now, the measurements. For the torso part, I made a rectangle that's about 30 inches. And then I folded it over and then sewed it. So it's like a tube, it goes over your, your torso and it goes just a, above your girls and then as long as you wanna make it. Um, mine is 19 inches long. So this is it here. And then uh, what you do is you make this other part, it's, it's very long. Mine is, um, it's the shoulder piece. It is 41 and a half inches long by four inches wide. And then what you'll do is take this and just lay your sweater um, torso part on top and then you just fold this over and um, I don't know if it's because of the yarn that I use it's very very stretchy so I'm not leaving a big space in here where the sleeves are gonna fit I'm just gonna stretch it out and um, put the sleeves but um, yeah you just want to sew it Let's see, it's, you want to sew it so that your, um, your pattern angle matches along with your top, all right, for this part and that part before you sew it on. And I'm just going to cross that a little bit, maybe do it down like this a little bit, and then I'm just going to sew it right near the center just a couple of rows just to hold it because if I sew it too close to the edge um, I won't have that stretch here all right so just in the center a couple of like a few stitches um, two rows maybe just to hold it and then I'm making the sleeves I'm not done crocheting the sleeves at this point in the video because what I'm going to do is I, I want to attach the sleeves and then try it on and then complete the sleeves so I know what length I need for the sleeves. Um, so the sleeves are, I made them 13.5 inches wide and then you fold them over. And then when you do sew the sleeves on, make sure that your, um, your pattern matches your torso again, like this. Uh, can you see that? Your, your line is going to go, you know, all in one direction. So when I am completed doing that, I'll come back on and show you. Now I'm going to show you how I made the strap. The strap is about eight and a half inches long, um, about two inches wide. And I made 17 rows of V-stitches. And um, let's see. Okay, so we're going to do multiples of two. I chained 12. Okay, let's just start. I'll show you how to do this. V stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now I'm using a four millimeter hook for the straps. I just wanted them to be 
a little tighter maybe they won't stretch as much a little stronger all right so now what we do is we do a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook so um, one two three four So that will count this first one here counts as a double crochet so now we've made a double crochet in this stitch we're gonna make another double crochet in that I'm sorry chain not stitch okay so this counts as our first double crochet and this counts as our v-stitch these two double crochets here so we're gonna skip a chain and then go in the next chain with two double crochets and that will be our next v-stitch there is no chain in between these double crochets okay skip a chain go in the next one with two double crochets okay so that's how it's gonna look Okay, skip one, go in the next one with two double crochets. Skip one, go into the last one with one double crochet. Okay, and this is how it looks and then we're going to chain three one two three which counts as our first double crochet so therefore we're going to go into this V stitch with two double crochets go right between those two double crochets from the previous row And then do the next the same thing in the next between the next two double crochets from the previous row make two double crochets and it's a one uh, one row repeat it's uh, very easy in it the strap works up very quickly of course because it's pretty small <laughs> okay make put two double crochets in the next V stitch there and you always end your row with one double crochet. All right, we're getting tangled up a little bit here. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we go into the... Between the next two double crochets there, put two double crochets. And then that chain at the end there, we're going to put one double crochet into the top of that chain. And so this is what it looks like. So again, you chain three. And then you put two double crochets in your first V-stitch. And then two double crochets in the next one and in all of them. And then you will do one double crochet in the very end. And then I'm going to continue on with this and then I'm going to attach them to the top and show you the top. All right, so the top is complete. The sleeves I sewed underneath this flap just a little bit. And from the top of the sleeve down is about 21 inches.